Pullman. Starring Chuck Connors. Wrenches. Wrenches. Sanchez! We don't like squatters, Sanchez. Get out of here. Get off my land. This is government land. I told you we don't like squatters. We have no right here. Tell me, Sanchez. You wife at all? No. Where is she? She went to visit her mother. That's too bad, Eddie. She's real pretty. You filth, get off my land. Sure. They can feel some, and I'm sure the doc will fix you up in a few minutes. Well, I told you three days ago we should have had it attended to then. Hmm. Hmm. It's gotten so bad now you couldn't ride your horse the last two miles. Hmm. I don't take kindly that much walking. Hmm? No, I'm only joking, son. Look, I know it can't be very funny to you at a time like this, but well, let me take the horse. Go on. Oh. 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 Come in. Hello, Doc. Morning, Lucas. I got a patient for you. Come on in, son. Morning, Mark. You going on a call, Doc? Uh, not exactly. I uh, promised I'd look in on Mrs. Callahan. You know how she is about her back. Well, Dr. Burns is very busy, Paul. Uh, maybe we could come back tomorrow? Oh, I'm not that busy, son. And don't you worry about Mrs. Callahan. She'll probably outlive us all. <laughs> Take one minute. Take a seat. Go ahead. How are things at the ranch, Lucas? Fine, Doc. The only thing giving us trouble is Mark's tooth. Well, uh, it doesn't look too bad from here. That's why I found Paul. But as long as you've come by, I suppose I take a look at it anyway. Hmm? I'm not gonna hurt you, son. Easy. Oh. Here. That wasn't too bad. Now look at me a little bit. Come on. Open the mouth, that's it. Fine, a little bit more. Get your tongue out of the way. That's it, all right, close. Last of his baby molars. Well, when you get this one out, you're gonna have a man on your hands, Lucas. Uh -huh. Oh, no, just a little yank. Well, you'd rather have it out, son, than have it bother you for two or three weeks. It's up to you, son. All right, Doc. Well, good. Let's get at it, then. <sighs> we only use this for our more serious cases. All right, 
soon relax. Relax. Ready? Open the mouth. A little bit more. A little bit more. Now, move the tongue again. Uh, there it is. Ah. Now, that didn't hurt a bit, did it? Uh-uh. Good boy. Here's a young man, Lucas. Son? Yeah. Good. If you hurry, you'll be able to get over to school before the morning recess. School? Mm hmm. Well, Pa, after all, I just had my tooth pulled, and I, I won't be able to concentrate. Mark, every day of school is important, especially with exams coming up next week. But, Pa, you don't understand. Now look, son, don't you think I was ever a boy who had a tooth pulled? I do understand. I bet you never had a tooth like this one. All right. I'll go. Lucas. Oh, hi, Micah. What's up? Pedro Sanchez was killed. Pedro? Yep. Abe Marar brought the body in late last night. How did it happen? Don't know. Abe was on his way home, and he saw Pedro's place on fire. He went over to see if he could help and found him. Had two bullets in him. Who did it? That's what I'm trying to find out. I've got his wife and Juan inside now. What do they say? Not a thing. I can't get a word out of him. Not even his wife? He hadn't opened her mouth. I don't even know if she can speak English. Well, you know, they could be afraid of you. Afraid of me? Well, you're the law. They, they don't quite understand the law, and they tend to shy away from it. Shy away from it? How can they? After all, one of their own people has been killed. I know, but... Lucas? They've always liked you. You were a good friend of Pedro's. Let's go inside, see what you can find out. Maybe they'll talk to you. Well, if you think I can help, sure. Mr. Sanchez, I'm sorry about Pedro. The marshal just told me. your help. Did you see anything last night? I saw nothing, Senor McKean. You must have seen a fire. You've got the place next to them. I saw nothing. What about the shots? I heard nothing, Senor. Juan, you were his friend. You grew up together. I know nothing, Senor McKean. Sanchez. Mrs. Sanchez. Pedro was my friend, too. The one who did this must be punished. You've got to tell us everything you know. I've heard how your people take care of these things by yourself, but that's wrong. Everything must be done according to the law. The law is the same for your people as it is for mine. And it's the marshal's job to see that the law is carried out. Mrs. Sanchez, you've got to help us. We will take care of our own. No, senora. Senor Martin is right. They must do it by their own law. We must tell them. Senor Marshal, there is something. What is it, Juan? At Pedro's ranch, there is something there that may help you find the guilty one. What is it? You must see for yourself. I will show you the way. Lucas, will you keep your eye open for me till I get back? Let's go, Juan.
Please, continue. Your best tequila. With a slice of lemon. And a pinch of salt. Well? We don't have any tequila. That's too bad. Then I'll have some of your best whiskey. You don't have any good whiskey either. That's too bad too. You'll find what you want at the cantina. Other end of town. Thank you for your advice. Uh, I almost forgot. I have a message for a Mr. Hadley. Can you tell me if he's here? I'm sure it will mean a great deal to him. I'm Hadley. Mr. Hadley. Baranka is delighted to make your acquaintance. You don't look like a man who plays with fire. Fire? Fire, Mr. Hadley. Not the kind that warms the house, but the kind that burns it down. I mean the one that snuffs out life. The fire from the end of the gun. <laughs> Boys, is a philosopher from uh, south of the border. <laughs> <laughs> Man of courage laughing at his own death. You better get out of here while you can. Good idea. We'll all go out. And you, Mr. Hadley, will see how Barranca deals out justice. But first, we'll all drop your guns to the floor. One should not draw a gun unless he intends to use it. All right, now. Everyone outside. Out. of North Fork. Barranca's law rules here today. My people are sent for me to see that justice is done. So we will proceed. The man who stands before you is named Hadley. The night that has just passed did burn the house of one Pedro Sanchez and he did shoot to death the same Pedro Sanchez. For these things he must pay. I didn't kill Sanchez. I didn't even know him. Do you want this to be the last words you speak? I've told you the story. It's that simple. Now we'll get the decision of the jury. heard the angels of Barranca. So be it. Mr. Hadley, you'll have one minute to pray. Are you just gonna stand around and let him kill me? is over. Mister. What law gives you the right to condemn a man without a fair trial? You question Barranca. That's right. And the question still goes, Mr. Barranca. Perhaps you don't understand. Barranca's law rules here today. Why? Because you conveniently got the marshal out of the way? A very small thing. Well, you can't come into this town and just take it over. I'm doing it. No, Mr. Baranke, you think you are. You see, we've got our own laws here, and we live up to them. And if the marshal's not here to impose them, well, then it's, it's up to the people. But I don't see the people trying to stop me. I only see you. Well, Mr. Baranke, I'm one of the people. What's your name? My name is McCain, Lucas McCain. You 
challenge Barranca. A man alone? I like you, Mr. McCain, because you stand up for what you believe. Well, if what you say is true, I'll take Hadley, and then we'll see that he gets a fair trial. Hmm? Is it that simple for you? Sure. He's mine. I have him. Now, where are your witnesses? You got no witnesses. Witnesses? What are these witnesses? Did anybody see him shoot Sanchez? Oh, saw him sh Yeah. Senora Sanchez. Is this the man who killed your husband? She's a liar. I got three witnesses who can swear I was anywhere near her place. Is this the man who killed your husband? Well, I didn't kill him. Why should I want to kill her husband? Why do I want to kill a dirty squatter? <laughs> she couldn't have seen. She wasn't even there. Now, Mr. McCain, do you question Barranca? <laughs> doesn't change anything. He still gets a fair trial according to law, Barranca. You are a hot man, Miss McCain, a hot man. There is a way to settle whose law is going to rule. Barranca challenges you. You and I will settle this in a matter that's historic with my people. Oko, take the prisoners away and guard them. Now, Mr. McCain, we are going to fight whose law is going to rule. I'd say the odds were in your favor, Barranca. What do you mean? My angels? Mm -hmm. Oh, no. Now it becomes a matter of honor. It's only between you and I. It won't be settled with bullets, Mr. McCain, but with the hands. You mean fists? Huh. Fists. You are a big man, aren't you? But with the fists, Barranca is a big man, too. You doubt it, huh? I'll explain it to you. We'll do it as we do it in the land of Barranca. We stand face to face and take turns hitting each other. You mean you and I'll have a fist fight? We don't fight like animals. I stand like this and you hit me. Then you stand and I hit you. Until one man falls to his knees. He who's standing is the victor. He takes sadly. Do you understand? Mm-hmm. You ready? Mm-hmm. You come here. Should I lose my temper, I wouldn't want to. Your rifle. You ready? I'm ready. Tell me something, Mr. Branco. Who gets the first swing? I chose the weapons and the rules. You are the first one. You are not afraid, are you? No. All right, ahead. Better back up there. <laughs> Well, Mr. McCain, it's my turn, I believe. Raka hits well, too. Muchas gracias, senor. Your turn. I'm known as Barranca with the Iron Jaw. Barranca also has an iron fist. But the secret is the chin, Mr. McKay. The chin?
Matter of honor, huh, Mr. Baranka? That's right, Mr. McCain. Joe, of iron and a stomach of goose feathers. You win, Lucas McCain, because I've forgotten to tell you to hit only the chin. It's a good example of the slyness of the fox overcoming the strength of the bull. Where's Hadley? I don't know. Your men know. Poco? Poco! Where is Hadley? Go ahead. In the stable, Senor Barranca? You told That's me I... so. Go right ahead. Please. Hadley! Come on out and give yourself up. Not even the neck, huh? Hadley, I'd advise you not to try and leave town. I got a feeling Barranca's men are guarding the roads. It's a bad thing to give away Barranca's secrets. Hadley! Very quiet town. I wouldn't like to live here. And I wouldn't like to die here. All right, Hadley, come on out. I let that local bandit kill me? He's not gonna touch you. You'll come over to the marshal's office with me. So you can hang me? That'll be up to a jury. I already know the verdict. If you want me, you come and get me. Drop the gun. Drop it. Come here. Come here, Hadley. Hurry up. All right, Frank, I've had enough of you. Well, I've got Hadley. Who's law now, Barranco? Barranco and his angels are silent. Is that not your answer? Well, son, Mike ought to be here soon and we can go home. Feeling better? Yeah. Boy, mm -hmm. you know, you were right. After I got working on that arithmetic test, well, I forgot I even had my tooth pulled. But look, Paul. Let me go. I couldn't go without saying goodbye. My angels are waiting for me. Adios. Adios. Paul, he seems like he's a good man. Why would he want to kill Mr. Hadley without a trial? He is a good man, son. When he came here, he thought he wanted revenge. Because he's a good man, he realized what he really wanted was justice. Say, uh, you think you could get a peppermint stick by that tooth now? Oh, boy!